people do not talk to each other as much as they used to and it's not good it's not a good thing people don't even know their neighbors names these days people go to the gym to the library the university everyone has their headphones in everyone's introverted they're like in this beehive but they don't know any other of the bees you're just a lone little bee you're in solitude you don't even know anything about the hive you're just there slaving away making honey you're a cuck to the world because you do not interact with the world and you want to though it's human nature it's human nature you want to interact you want human connection but you've accepted this solitude so you become a cuck it's just like watching prawn you watch prawn you're watching another guy get what you want you're pleasuring yourself to it and you're getting off it makes you weird right it makes you weird because you're not the one doing that you're just watching what do people do they don't interact with the world COVID came along put everyone in this little bubble we we accept it and then we just go home turn on hulu turn on netflix and watch our dramas as soon as we get drama you know but it's in our head we get this connect we get this weird fantasy connection that's all in our head but we don't interact with the world it's absolutely insane so a lot of you have like accepted and you label yourself, I'm an introvert. I don't even want to have the discussion of this introvert actually means you get energy from being alone. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. You've accepted a recluse kind of life, and you're probably gonna pay for that. And if you're you're wondering what's wrong with your life and you're alone, that's what it is. You're introverted, you do not use your voice, you do not make an effort to look people in the eye, to speak to people, to talk to strangers. You're just living in your own little bubble, man. Just living in your own little life, going down the little river, and you don't even make any effort to talk to people in your environment. It's so freaking weird. You should not accept it. Do whatever it takes now to get out of this introversion and this laziness. You're being a lazy human being. Just because you have all the tech and everything that you need to be comfortable doesn't mean that you don't need to interact with people and acknowledge them when you see them during your day. I went for a walk the other day, talked to like, I mean, I didn't talk, I saw 10 people, okay? 10 people on the walk. I think two people acknowledged me. 20% of people acknowledged me on the walk. That's so weird, okay? People, you know, you can't just go, hey, what's up, buddy? You know, shields down, give them the nod. Shields down, I'm safe, I acknowledge you. What's up, have a great day. Simple as that. Just some sort of acknowledgement. Now, you need to be the one who does this. When I grew up in the 90s, grew up in Florida, Everyone was doing this. Filipinos, blacks, whites, Mexicans. It didn't matter, man. It didn't matter who you were. Serbian, you could be you could be from China. It didn't matter who you were. It was like a party. Everyone was talking to each other. There was no phone. There was none of this BS going on. It was like, oh, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Don't even know you, but hey, have a great day. Everyone was like on a different vibe. Everyone was like, you know, this is life. We're, we're in life right now. You're in my life. I'm going to interact with you. Because people know intuitively that gives us energy. When you interact with other people, when you connect with them, it gives you energy. If you're alone, you have no energy. Like you have nothing, no energy to bounce off of. You got none of that. And so you become a cuck. You just watch the world go by, herp, derp, herp. You know, that's the world. No, stop living like this. You got to stop doing this. Make an effort. The other day, I've been making an effort every single day along with the group. I talk to people challenge. Every single day, we've gone out, we talk to people. We make an effort. We don't be lazy. Stop being lazy with yourself. People said, this challenge right here, man, I didn't even know I needed it, but it's actually changed my life in like a week. Yesterday, I go to the gas station. I saw a kid, he's wearing a uh, hoodie. He says, Jiu-Jitsu Kaizen. I just came from Jiu-Jitsu, right? I just came from Jiu-Jitsu. I'm like, hey, bro. You know, this guy, kid too, he was like, you know, kind of head hanging low. He probably fell a little down. And I said, hey, man, I heard like that show is awesome. Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen. I was like, do they actually do like jujitsu in there? He's like, oh, his eyes instantly lit up. You know, I found a com something that is that he's interested in, a commonality. So, you know, I picked it right up from his shirt. He had a little Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen. Now, I've never seen the show. I have heard that it's pretty good. I said, how is it? You know, they do jujitsu. He's like, yeah, man, this show's awesome. He's like, he's like, what did he say? He was like, that shows gas. You know, that shows fire. You know, things things are awesome. It starts heating up. I'm like, all right, man. Do they actually like, is is there martial arts? He's like, yeah, there's martial arts. I don't think he knew what jiu-jitsu was. Well, you know, we talked. And dude, he was lit up. He was ready to go. You know, he's ready to finish that shift. The other day, I was at jiu-jitsu, right? Two, uh, father and his son came in. Why is no one talking to these guys, man? They're really just watching. You know how intimidating it is to go to a jiu-jitsu gym for the first time? Like, It's intimidating. So I, you know, I'm, I'm not sparring at the moment. I'm taking a rest. I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Like, you know, you, you're going to roll today? 
And uh, we start talking. He's got his son there. He's like, yeah, my son wrestled. We're thinking about doing this. I'm asking him about wrestling. I'm telling him he'd be great. You know, wrestling gives you a great advantage. We just kick it off, you know? Make him feel invited. Make him feel welcome. You know, it, like, why are we not doing this? Why is this not normal? It has to be normal. So make it a part of your life. Talk to people. Talk to strangers. This is going to make you better at everything. You need to use your voice. If you got stuttering problems, if you're shy, you think you're awkward, you need to put the things in place today. You need to go out there and talk to everybody. Everybody. When you go to the grocery store, the guy there, you know, bagging, the cashier, the guy pushing carts. I was down on the road the other day. This guy was pulling out weeds. He was pulling out weeds from the center. I asked him about ticks. Because I'm curious how many ticks, you know, we got a lot of ticks here in Ohio, man. I, you know, I heard we got, you know, some, he's like, hey, man, you know, not really around here. We got some deer ticks. That's pretty much all you see. I was worried about, you know, ticks, man. I heard ticks carry lime. You know, you don't want to be getting no lime, but it's just little things come to your head. You can't, you need to actually take a genuine interest in other people. It's as simple as that. As soon as you start being, stop being in your own head and only worrying about you, take a general interest in other people. Life opens up life starts making sense okay you have to you have to or you're gonna be lonely you're gonna neglect so many opportunities you gotta start doing this you know you see that cute chick you should you should make eye contact you should hold eye contact with her and stop <laughs> dropping your head stop doing that you need to go and say hi strike up conversations with fat girls with ugly girls with every girl so that you humanize them and you get out this little fantasy like they're all queens because they're not queens they're just like you they're just human dude they're human and you need to talk to guys too you know i i think all these guys out here they're waiting to talk to hot girls they don't ever try to talk to other dudes like you want to get around cool dudes you don't want to talk to the baddest mother effer in the gym because he's strong and he can share stuff with you you want to talk to the baddest dude at jujitsu and not be one of those weirdos that just like to roll with the girls whenever you can. You need to talk to guys. I mean, you need to get with other guys and learn from them. That's going to inspire you. Not being a weirdo that doesn't talk to guys and only waits for the hot girl to show up. Like, that's you're being a weirdo, so stop that. And, uh, you know, you just need to get on the same... You need to get on this wavelength where you're the one that is being the catalyst. You're the one meeting people. You're the one getting the friends to go out. You're the catalyst. You're the one making things happen. You're not just sit laid back, waiting to get invited to parties, waiting for things to happen, waiting to get the boys together. Make that shit happen yourself. All right? No one else is going to be the leader. You got to stand up, use your voice, and be the leader. All right? Let's get it, man. Hi, Thumos, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.